Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this annoying problem of having your MacBook screen here stuck on these flickering lines or if you have a disturbing image on your screen. It can be a different type of image representation. It can be like squares or a few cracks right there or any other picture representation which looks strange. You can also be having a black screen as well. And this is something that can be caused by many reasons. This can be due to your display drivers not being updated, software issues as well as hardware issues which is the most common. Follow the steps that I'll be showing to you in this video to see if we can fix the problem. Let's jump straight into the video. So here I am in my case, I've got in here a MacBook Air, but do not worry if you've got a different MacBook model such as a MacBook Pro or a much newer MacBook model, do not worry, the steps are exactly the same in order to diagnose and fix this problem right here. So in most cases, this is a hardware problem, but in some cases, it's a software problem and you can easily fix it if it's a software problem. So the very first thing we're gonna be performing in here is the SMC reset here on our MacBook. So in order to do that, we're gonna need to connect our charger into our MacBook first. In my case, this is my charger. It's pretty old, but it does the job. If you have a much newer one, much better. So once we connect the charger, we're gonna hold the shift key along with the option key, along with the control key, along with the power key right here. Now, be careful because depending on your keyboard layout or in which region your MacBook was manufactured, the control button might not be here. It might be here or here. So make sure you read the key correctly. It should be control, option, shift, and the power button. So we're gonna hold these keys for 15 seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once we do that, we're gonna release all the keys and then we're gonna try to see if the MacBook is working fine or not. I'm gonna quickly shut down my MacBook. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, do not worry, we're moving into step number two because we still have a few steps in here to follow in order to fix the problem of getting these annoying flickering lines or simply having a black or a not clean image display here, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is immediately disconnect the charger from our MacBook and we're gonna turn on our MacBook in safe mode. So in order to turn on our MacBook in safe mode is we're gonna press the power button once, we're gonna release it and then we're gonna press and hold the shift key for a few seconds. So here we go, MacBook on, shift key being pressed do not leave the key, keep on pressing the shift key. Here we go, keep on pressing the shift key, and then here we go. Now we're gonna do next is actually we're gonna log in into our MacBook device, and then we're gonna see if this is gonna fix the problem that we've got. Now, if turning on your MacBook in safe mode did not fix the problem that you've got, Basically, we're gonna turn off our MacBook and perform the last step, which is resetting the PRAM, which is also known as the NVRAM here on our MacBook. Now, in order to reset this, we're gonna be holding the command button, which is not the control, it's the command button, along with the option button in here, and then we're gonna hold the P and the R key right here, okay? So this is how we'll be turning on our MacBook right here. So here we go. Let me just position my fingers right here. So it's Alt, Command, P, and R, okay? So let me quickly turn on my MacBook. MacBook's turn on. Here we go, I'm holding all the four keys. You need to press and hold them for a couple seconds. I'm pressing all these four keys. And here we go. Once we hear the time over there, it's gonna do it. For the second time, it's turning on. We're gonna wait for a little longer. And then once we hear the time for the second time, we're gonna release the keys and let our MacBook turn on normally. Now, it might take a few seconds, 
because it's actually resetting the PRAM and it's going to turn on immediately. Now that you've got my MacBook turned on in here, we're going to log in into my MacBook to see if the problem is solved. Now, once you type in your password, it's going to take you a few seconds to turn on. All you need to do now is just wait and see if the problem is actually fixed. Okay. Now, if this doesn't fix the problem that you've got, you most probably have a hardware issue right here and something needs to be replaced. Now, if you are in a situation where when you actually move your screen, it gets to a position where it works fine. And then once you move it a bit more, it stops working fine. That means that your screen is actually working fine, but you might be having connector problems. So the cables or the connectors that connect to, the, to your motherboard might be not working fine. So in that case, try to talk to the service center people to not replace your entire screen, to only replace the connector. This will cost you lesser than changing the entire screen. You're gonna save up a lot of money, but normally these stores, they like to earn money with us, so they're gonna be charging with the entire screen. In that case, it's not the case. You only need to change the connector right there. Now, this is what I would like to disclose to you guys. And temporarily, if you wanna use your MacBook, you can use it with an external monitor or TV. So in order to use it with an external monitor or TV, you're gonna need an HDMI cable to connect into your MacBook, and then you're gonna connect the HDMI cable into the monitor in order to display all the image there on the monitor. Now, you can find the HDMI cable in the link in the description box below. I've linked it down there. You can actually buy, it's a cheap cable that you connect to your MacBook here at the sides. But in my case, I don't have the connector in here because in much recent MacBook models, Apple has removed the HDMI cable. Instead, they've got in here a small entrance to connect an adapter that provides you the HDMI entrance port right there. In my case, this is my adapter. And as you guys can see in here, we've got the HDMI entrance port. This port should have been here on the MacBook, but it's not there. On some MacBooks, we still have the HDMI port in here, specifically in old MacBook Pros model. Now, if you have a much newer model, you're gonna be having an adapter like this, where you're gonna connect it here into this port right here and then we're going to be having the hdmi entrance right here which is the cable in the description box below i have also linked down this adapter to the description box below if you have a macbook in this condition you can buy the adapter and connect it into your external monitor now in much newer and newer macbook models we don't even have this entrance right here, but we have the type C entrance right here. So make sure if you have this entrance or the type C, please double check it before buying the adapter. I've got both of the adapters in the description box below this one, as well as the type C adapter. So you need to buy the one that your MacBook actually requires the correct one. So you can connect and use an external monitor to actually keep on viewing your image. Now, in my case, I've got in here my MacBook connected by means of those cables that I've told you into my external 32 inches monitor in here, which is a pretty big one. You do not need this size of a monitor. You can actually buy a much smaller one in size to actually display your entire MacBook's information here on your MacBook. By means of this, you can actually buy a monitor at a cheaper price and you can still work and back up all the information that you had here on your MacBook device. Now, do not worry because I've linked down in the description box below a few monitors that I personally recommend, which are at a good price. So you can actually still keep on working here with an external monitor if your MacBook's display is actually damaged. I hope this really, really helped you here on this problem. So this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you find my content useful here on the channel, consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below as it helps me in getting recommended here on YouTube so that I can help out more people facing the same problem as yours. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.